Hi, it's Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to start a new patient note. So we're going to select the top button on the screen. It's the second one over. That is our patient list. In search patients, I'm going to type in my name, and we're going to select me. So this is the screen where I've already been added, my statements have been chosen, complaint has been put in. As you can see, the information's at the top. There's a spot for service date and it's a drop down menu. So if it's for today, this automatically goes on today's date. From here, you can select report introduction. There are several different introductions in here for PI cases, workers comp cases. Um, you can scroll through those, see if they're what you need for your patient. You don't even have to use them if you don't want to. My patient notes for an initial visit, we start with subjective. So you're going to select subjective at the top of the screen. That's going to put the title in. From subjective, I always start with the other button. So we're going to put in the chief complaint. And my chief complaint was cervical pain. So you're going to just touch the body region where the complaint is. After you've selected all appropriate body regions, you want to hit the check mark to save that. Then we're going to go affecting area. Now all of these empty buttons can be customized to fit your practice using the edit button. And I'll show you that in a later video. So we're going to go described as aching once again you select the area and hit the check mark from there you can hit the back button to go to the initial screen for that selection on the left hand side menu so general history patient info whether your patient was in pain so we're going to select in pain cooperative employed non-smoker no alcohol and the back button. Then we're just going to go through each button in the general history section. Symptom history, same past, family history, unremarkable. You can also enter different family problems in these things that run in their family. Then back, review of your systems. So we're going to say normal with the exception of, let's say I have arthritic disease. Now we have several things programmed in here. And once again, you can edit these and make them appropriate for what you would like to be used in your office. Use the back button, functional assessment, difficult activities. That's difficult to drive, for example. Then we're going to go to the next section on the left hand menu. After we've used all the buttons that we want in each section, we just move down the list. So a pain scale. Whatever your patient tells you their pain scale is, you just slide the slider over and then hit the back button. And that's going to add that pain scale into the note. Symptom frequency. It's persistent. Select your body region. Now there's other buttons in here for relief with prior care, mode of onset you select the buttons that are things that you would like into the patient note. You do not have to use all the buttons. Now across the top we also have template which is just different things. We use those for already established patients and I'll show you how to do that in a later video. There's also general statements for if the patient's better, the same, or worse and you can use those as an intro to each section. So we're going to hit the back button and that's going to take us back to the note. Now in the view screen it's going to show you exactly what was inserted into your note. You can scroll down through it and see if there's anything you want to take out or anything else you need to add. If there's something else you need to add you can just go back into the subjective section and add that in. So from here I'm going to save this note and in the next video I will show you how to do the objective section.